All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. Uh, the name of the video is Let's Talk About the Confederate Flag in the New South. Uh, this is coming from the channel Bow of the... Oh, apologies. Bow of the Fifth Column, guys. Let's go and check it out. Howdy there, Internet people. It's Bow again. You know, almost as soon as somebody hears my accent talking about my views... Guys, this is the second time we've encountered him, and now it kind of makes me want to contact him and be like, bro, let me help you out with your audio, guys. Um... But I think this is probably a testament to to knowing this one thing here. It really doesn't matter on YouTube. I mean, you can overdo it. Trust me when I say my setup is completely overdone. It's not needed, right? Um, but I would like to hear him a little bit clearer, guys. Um, but all right. But I, would, but I would definitely love to get in contact with him and at least help him out with uh, um, you know, on the audio end at least. Let's go. Somebody, normally from the north, will be like, "What do you think of the Confederate flag?" Oh, because like your some accent? Kind of test, I guess. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, there's that stereotype. Okay. Well, I, uh, I can understand wanting to display a tie to the South. Mm -hmm. I do. It's wonderful down here. It is right. wonderful down here. It's a great place. It's a great culture. But the thing I don't understand is that Southern culture existed long before the Confederacy and long afterward. Yeah. The Confederacy basically lasted like five years. Um, you probably have shirts and jeans that lasted longer than the Confederacy did. Um, and not saying that to be disrespectful, obviously, right? Um, but just a fact here. Uh, Southern culture has absolutely existed much longer than that very extremely brief, brief time in history. Um, some people... <sighs> Guys, I'm trying to be nice here, guys. Here's the thing. So I lived, I grew up in the north, and then um, you know, as I got older, we moved to the south. And I can definitely tell you, um, southern culture, there's, there's a lot to southern culture that's like beneficial to just your overall like life, right? Um, it's peaceful by comparison. Right? Uh, the, the concept of northern aggression is kind of a real thing, right? I mean, the only time I, I get disrespected just publicly would be walking around New York City, right? <laughs> That's not really a thing here in itself, right? Um, but there are people who absolutely still use a Confederate flag. They, they you know, um, it's just southern culture. Uh, I don't really have too much of a problem when I see it because it's just like, you know, listen, uh, that's that person. You do what you want to do in life, you know, uh, and the majority of people really don't even understand why they're doing it. Right. Um, and what I mean by that is, yeah, it represents the South. But when you actually question or get any 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 type of depth into that very specific uh, questioning of why they're they're flying the flag so high, uh, they seem not to understand the reasons why the Confederacy very specifically existed, right? Um, they'll be like, oh, I had nothing to do with the bondage of humans, but the majority of the states that uh, were part of the Confederacy like absolutely uh, said states' rights, and those states' rights were to leave people in bondage, right? Um, I get it, it could mean something different now, but even other countries utilize that flag now. You understand that? Like the, the swastika is, um, like on a flag, is completely banned in Germany, but the Confederate flag isn't. So now how are these groups, how are these people that would be considered uh, very hateful individuals, why are they using the Confederate flag, right? Um, that's basically all I'm going to point out to you guys. Again, I generally don't have an issue. Do whatever you want to do. Keep your statues. Do all these other things. Do, do whatever you want to do in life. Guys, right? I just want you to understand everything about that. That's probably the most important thing to me is that you understand everything that surrounds that very specific thing. Right? If you're going to do it, do it. Right? Just with hopes you understand what it means. I have no idea why people want to use that symbol as an icon to represent the South. It, it's, okay. it's drawing up images of the most immoral, evil, and worst times in Southern history. I, I don't understand how that's become a symbol. I don't understand how people can think, you know, I want people to associate me with this, with all of this evil, with all of this stuff that happened. I want people to associate me with that. Because they don't think that. 
That's it. They don't think that. They, they see the flag and it's, by, by, by the way, guys, it's the wrong flag, by the way. That's not even the, the flag of the Confederacy like that. That's the, the flag that, that's mainly used was like a, was the flag that became popular, popularized during uh, segregation and um, that show, that the show with the Dukes of Hazards. Like, keep that in mind. The flag that, that specifically they're using is, is, is not even the Confederate flag that was the flag of the time of the Confederate. Guys, this is, this is wild. But either way, you know, a lot of people use it because of that show. That show popularized it, made the concept of Southern culture like really fun to encounter, right? And, um, you know, rebels, et cetera, right? But it really truth, truthfully has, has a lot of its roots in um, the segregationist past, I guess. Um, but all right. But there's so many other options. To put it in a different perspective, it would be like saying, I want to display my American heritage. Mm -hmm. So you walk around with smallpox infected blankets handed whoa. out to people. Whoa, whoa, it buddy. Just, it doesn't make sense. <sighs> what? Um, you know, the Confederate. That's, that's why. It was a, a failed nation. That's wild. That didn't last a generation over a hundred years ago. Nobody has a connection to that anymore. The funny thing about that also is, guys, uh, you're right. No one absolutely has a connection at all to that these this this past in our history. Um, but another thing I kind of want to point out here is that um, a lot of the people that would even like partake in this would absolutely are some of the same people who um, disregard any other piece of history in, in the United States of America. Um, some of these people, I'm not, I'm not trying to put anyone into like a box, but it would be hard to have a conversation about any other past in the United States except for that. If that makes any sense, guys. Not really. Without getting too Let's say depth. you do. Let's say, for whatever reason, you actually have some connection to the Confederacy. Why don't you actually fly the Confederate flag? And right now there's a bunch of people going, what? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that red flag with the blue cross and the stars right. on it—that's right. not the Confederate flag. That's it is the flag not of the Army of Northern Virginia. It's a battle flag. It's Robert E. Lee's flag. Basically, it had nothing to do with <laughs> the Confederacy. The original Confederate flag right. had uh, a red stripe, a white stripe, a red stripe, right. a blue field with stars in it. It looked a lot like the American flag. It had three stripes, though. Why not fly that? If you actually want heritage. And some connection to the Confederacy. Why not fly that symbol? Oh, they're not gonna like this video, bro. Nobody's gonna look at that and be like, "Oh, that guy's a racist." Right? Doesn't have that connotation. People don't look at that. Most of them mm -hmm. don't even know what it is. It, and absolutely. if you're actually concerned about heritage, that'd be kind of a cool test, wouldn't it? I mean, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of people with rebel <laughs> flags. You know what they think is the flag of the Confederacy, right? Who didn't know that it wasn't until this video. Oh no, and, and, cool? th and that's the problem. That's that's a problem I have here, guys. Right? Um, under like, if you care about the history, et cetera, et cetera, right? Amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. Just use the correct one because the one that you're using was literally on the outside of the majority of the buildings. Like for example, um, people of African descent would travel throughout the what was it called was, I think it was called like the green the green book. They would use the green book to basically travel from the north to the south during super super hectic times in the early 1900s. And the green book basically was a book that uh, that told people kind of where was safe to kind of drive through, right? Uh, these were all the places that did not fly the Confederate flag right, at the time. And because we, because not we, I wasn't there, because they knew, right, if they were to go to any of these towns, these, these were basically called also sundown towns. Basically, you better not let the sun hit you, if that makes any sense. Like if the, if the street lights turn on, it's time to get out of sight type of towns, okay? Um, and these flags were on a lot of the buildings and diners and all these other places that refused access to people of African descent. Like, if you wanted food, you have to go to the back door, go to the kitchen door type of thing, right? 
Um, and so that's kind of what those flags represented to the majority of people of African descent, mainly coming from the north. Now, don't get me wrong. There are people in the south. I'm sure people in the comments are going to be like, well, what about Ludacris or what about uh, Lil John? Yeah, these are people that are from that were from, that were from the south and never really had uh, had left the, the south too deeply. They understood that was southern culture. They were taking what was popular. Right. Uh, and what was popular to do or edgy to do. Uh, with their skin tone was to utilize the Confederate flag for uh, some type of, uh, well, to garner some type of attention, right? I mean, this is what celebrities have been doing since the history of celebrities, guys. Well, to kind of weed them out, unless that's not really the heritage you're talking about. And that's actually what I think it is for a lot of people flying that flag. See, it has another heritage. Go ahead. It has another more recent use. It was added to Georgia's state flag two years after Brown versus Board of Education. It was real clear what it meant. Yeah. You uppity folk better stay in your place. Yep. That's what it meant. That's exactly what it meant, yeah. The reason it is seen as a racist symbol is because its most recent usage was by people who engaged in lynchings and assassinations and church yep. bombings and arsons. Of course, it's seen as a racist symbol. It is. Specifically that, yeah. It's yeah. that simple. But again, I want to stand up for these, for the random people in like, like, like most of Tennessee, I would say, uh, Georgia and some, some parts of uh, South Carolina. And what I mean by stand up for them is that this is, they don't, they use this flag to represent like a like a, like a subculture if that makes any sense they're not using it for the same way but i don't i also don't think they fully grasp um the depths of it because they wouldn't recognize it if that makes any sense right um they're doing this they could be the nicest people on the entire planet but they just don't know because if you say anything regarding any of that they'll ignore it and say this was in the past but so was your flag um, so it's not a conversation that many people actually would want to actually have that, that do fly that flag. I think that's probably the heritage that most people who fly it are really reaching back to the 1960s. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm kind of I don't really fully, fully agree. I, I, I honestly think that it's um, I don't want to say just like blanket ignorance. Well, ignorance of the topic. Right. Um, I think that it's a lot of a lot of that ignorance of the topic uh, because again like some of the nicest people that i've encountered uh in the south they like for example one of my one of my closer friends from the south uh flew the confederate flag and trust me when i say he knew none of this none of this none of this stuff until i, I you know, we had a full like maybe two three hour conversation regarding it and he was just like oh i didn't know that exactly and that's kind of the point here. So you you can't just like like brush over the fact that that um that everyone is a, has the same level of care if that makes any sense of history as I guess it seems like he and, and I do right. Um, so just understand that before you like instantly judge someone that does uh, fly the Confederate flag. It should be pretty obvious if they you know what camp they're in if that makes any sense. Um, but but my um my my friend he. He didn't know, and trust me when I say he, he's like, oh well, well I guess we're gonna because he he now flies the original flag, and I was like, listen, you know, do your thing, whatever, right? It's still a little crazy, but whatever, live your life, type of thing. To desegregation, because otherwise, if it really had to do with the Confederacy, why aren't you flying the Confederate flag, the real one? Right. Got a bunch of guys from Alabama and Mississippi flying a flag from Virginia. Yeah. No, I'm not buying it. I don't think it's about heritage. Not, a, not, not for a second. Where's he from, guys? You know. <laughs> See, we're different here, right? See, I'm going to. This is the type of person I am. He's obviously espousing a different overall ideology than I am. But I am open enough to be able to listen to what's happening here, right? I do think personally that it has bits and pieces in some type of heritage, right? They're using it wrong, right? But it, it for them, very specifically, it represents 
the South, rebel, mudding, lifted trucks, guns, these type of things that I love kind of also. Well, mainly the guns and mudding because I off-road a whole lot and I have uh, lifted trucks. But the point is, <laughs> right, uh, these people that are part of this, uh, this, this subculture here, uh, some of it is just heritage. They just don't know. It's not like this is taught in schools. It's a lot of times. I had a guy. And there's no wise, no no nice way to say this. He was a gangbanger. Okay. He was. We met through a very bizarre twist of fate. <laughs> nice guy. I mean, in, in my in my experience with him, he was a nice guy. But he was a gangbanger. Right. He told me that he uh he, he gave. I wish I could remember the exact word. Something like I give white boys a pass if they're under 24 flying there. Okay. I thought that was interesting. I asked him why. Yeah, please explain. And he said that uh, it was a lot like black kids from the suburbs sporting gang colors. Said, what? You know, they're looking for an identity. They're looking for something to belong to. Oh, and okay. This, this is how they think they can do it. Right. But if, you know, and that's okay as a kid, but if they're older and they haven't grown out of that, they're probably dangerous. Wow. Yeah. Extremely profound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually. That's, that's pretty good. And that's yes. been my experience. Um, that has really been good. my experience with it. it. It is. The thing is, that symbol doesn't represent the South. It represents racism. It never represented the South. Ever. It wasn't the Southern flag. It wasn't the Confederate flag. Yeah, I don't know. There's somebody that's going to say... Well, you know, later, later on, the Confederacy right, had later a second adoption. flag and a third yeah. flag, and, right, you know, right, and right. it was in some of those. Yeah, it was a small part. Yeah, tiny. A small part. At no point in time was a red flag with a blue cross with those stars on it, making up the entire flag. Was that anything other than a battle flag for Robert E. Lee's army? And I, I think there was an outfit out of Tennessee that used something similar. I didn't know about the one in Tennessee. It doesn't represent the South. It never did. So it's not your heritage. At least not the one you're pretending it is. Oh, and here's God. the thing about it. We have a new South, gentlemen. You know, I live out in the country. My nearest neighbors are black. And uh, I'll tell you this. They represent the South. Southern culture, Southern hospitality, more than anyone I have ever met that was waving one of those flags. And I know there's a lot of people that think that there's going to be some resurgence and the South will rise again. You know, in the 1920s, that flag didn't have a racist connotation back then. It was the symbol of lost causes. I think that's probably more fitting. Whoa. You know, you guys tried recently. I know racists from all over the country went to Georgia. Okay. To try to defend some Confederate monument. And you got chased out by the people in Georgia. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, guys. If you try to keep that in, like, so when I'm in America, um, I, I I live in in Atlanta area, right? I can definitely tell you there is no chance of a Confederate statue being able to uh, be maintained here. Uh, not in this day and age. Not not in the not with this demographic of people. Uh, Stone Mountain um, still has uh, this uh, Confederate stuff on it, guys. Um, that's just not going to go anywhere. And I don't listen. Here's the thing. I am not someone who is for destroying history. It happened. Um, I just don't like people that only care about selective history. That's where I generally kind of instantly separate guys. I instantly stop caring what the person is saying. If you if you only if you're super selective with what you're going to talk about, guys, like if we're going to talk about history, we need to talk about the history and the context of why things occurred, because if you don't do that, then it's just like you're just talking. Right. Um, like imagine, for example, there was a hmm, a car accident. OK. Uh, and the person doesn't want to talk about 
what caused the car what would cause the car accident. They just want to talk about the wreckage. So let's have let's let's have a full blown conversation about the wreckage, not the fact that the person driving was a little intoxicated, uh, or the person driving uh, was doing something extremely inappropriate with the with the partner um, from the from the passenger seat to the driver's seat. Right, there was something extremely inappropriate going on there. But we don't have these conversations. But let's talk about the wreckage. The wreckage is not worth talking about. I mean, we could talk about the repercussions of things, but what happened? That's the most important thing, guys. In Georgia. They yes, didn't want your race. That's not going to work in Georgia, guys. Maybe like like Cummings or like uh, uh, Forsyth. That area. Lake Lanier um, area. As far as that ever symbolizing the South again, it won't. Yeah. We don't want you anymore. <laughs> it's a new South. Don't go away mad. Just go away. Anyway, y'all have a nice I mean, night. All right, I'm not for telling people just to leave, right? Uh, or just go away. They have they have every single right in America to kind of do what they're doing, even if we don't like it, right? Um, even so, if you don't like something that someone else is doing, if, are they personally affecting you, right? If they're not, move on. Let them have their delusions, guys, right? And what I mean by that, not trying to be extremely condescending here, is that. They also think that your uh, someone else's opinion that varies from theirs is also a delusion. So this is what I mean here. So if you are in the camp of saying uh, get rid of all of the people that, uh, that that use the Confederate flag, they can say the same exact thing. So it's a it's kind of a moot point. So we need to kind of come up with an ability to have conversations between two massive different like thinking groups. So if we can do that, I think everything will be amazing, right? Let these people do whatever they want to do, bro. If someone wants to fly a flag with, I don't know, Bart Simpson on it or something, bro. And then out of nowhere, historically, Bart Simpson had, um, it was used, that flag was used to, I don't know, uh, it was on top of the building that burnt, that burnt your favorite, I don't know, animals or something. You get what I'm saying here, guys? And now Bart Simpson represents this. And they want to fly Bart Simpson, bro. That's their business, guys. Right? Uh, you, I mean, you have a, you have the. I mean, you could be offended, but why are you putting that much energy into being offended? Right? Uh, um, even what happened on the other side is like, yeah, guys. I know, I know. I just don't like the concept of of like everyone being offended all the time, guys. I can't stand it. Um, there was a time in our history where, where someone could have a, a different opinion and you just were you just like, eh, I don't care. It's not affecting me. Can we get back to that for a moment, guys? That'd be nice. <laughs> um, but all right, listen, let me know in the comments of the next thing from him that I should be checking out. And I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. All right, and listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.